வணக்கம் நான் ஹைதர் அலி சையத் ஆசிர்வாதம் சார் யுனைடெட் அண்ட் தமிழ் சேவா see as a first set like you know i want to speak on the basis of uh, linguistics because our eritrean friends talks in a certain manner the first thing they speak about is that uh, bible is written in geese and geese is uh, yeah okay uh, but they never explain how they never explain that okay the reason why they never explain that is none of them speak geese they don't speak they speak tigriye hamara that's how they do and uh, the biblical one which over the bible people are reading and referring fighting you know you see the all those rooms all those rooms that be it christian muslim who were like you know you all everybody fights over bible let's not worry about quran because quran like you know uh, as it says that it came much later in 680 and as far as bible is concerned that uh, american uh, christians would be saying things in one way american hebrew israelites would be saying that like you now it is always there hebrew is the god's language no that's not like you know, none of them can actually uh, state that how it is true the hebrew evolved yes is evolved from the languages of east africa it became a proper language during the time of their babylonian captivity which they call it the only person who knows about all this uh, uh biblical uh, rules laws and moses law everyone it was actually daniel and the prayer to that the written hebrew as they say in torah it was never used anywhere in the world it's only in 700 find it busy first thing is they brought out the laws then like uh, old tradition they started writing genesis and other things the book was never written because the torah is not just a book even that is a compilation of books genesis talks about one deuteronomy talks about another separate separate books are compiled if anyone want to be a jew they have to read the torah not only that after they understand what torah is all about what what the information is then they will have to read the rabbinic version of the aramaic books which is all written in aramaic books uh, uh, written by like you know, every rabbi so when the la- the people are arguing over fighting over a book which was written like much later it is not as what they say that like you know it was practiced in all these regions it was all kind of like a written only in that time the language itself evolved to read the book not even to buy a, a piece of bread in those days that with hebrew no one can go and buy a piece of bread they were using aramaic 600 years before christ even during the time of jesus christ yes for new testament yes there is a kind of a 30 years difference or something like that give or take that like you know that's how they uh, from the uh, time of jesus and they wrote that that becomes a separate a different one from the old testament compilation and old testament it was never a one book it was a scattered book it was a selected books from among thousands of books the first compilation was some 256 that like they reduced it and the the final comp- compilation during the 3rd century is that and with that reference people are fighting over that ancient history and trying to prove who's who and who's who and geese was never is never is not a language 
which is spoken by people now and geese never had a great literature there is a reference about geese in inscription that like me it exists the greek the a geese with the spoke is an, uh, speaking right now is another version of geese not the ancient geese the inscription like you know what they have in geese that they can't even write it in the i think in the amen part and like you know so in you know, erythrean region or something the few inscriptions are there if it is such old language where are the literature there is no literature the well-being of human uh, humankind is being taught in that world through religion only and religions came much later religions are probably about like 2500 years old one after another and if you remove all the religious books in the world and like verses from the mind people don't even know how to identify themselves but in my land in tamil nadu a person that who wants to speak spirituality without religions we have thousands of books for the well being of between humans to administer a village town city cosmopolitan a kingdom an empire all that advice is there like without even touching the part of religion since ancient time to this time that anybody doesn't belong to a religion if they say that they are spiritualist and will believe in well being it was always respected we have books for it but if you take the religion out of all these people they won't they can't learn well being from anywhere the well being administration and everything is given to them through religious books only and these books age is this 500 bc starts with that that's a compilation prior to that all the civilizations had like you know all types of book for like spirituality well being administration theory everything every knowledge but none of those books were taught to people through religion it was all independent books they had the literature but all those languages like there's nobody speaking the languages today and as for tamil is concerned till today we speak the language till today even a simple guy a 12 year old boy can read and understand what was written 2800 years ago he is studying on a people are studying from childhood even in in 8 year old boy would know at least two lines of uh, uh, ancient book 2600 years old he would be reading at least two lines of it which contains the advice suggestion to live as a better human being among the society so this is the state of this language and this people are still sitting here people who uphold uh, geese people who if, if what if if bible is written in geese who cares in in my region like you know the, nobody even care that like you know whether bible is written or not because without bible even without quran that a people been living a well being life and they also like you know, attain spirituality so but if you remove that even yet this can't even live in western world because without like the without bible and quran it is can't live because thy life is based upon like you know criticizing both the books if you see the other side like you know without uh, talking about bible other people cannot live be it anybody that is a later book what is the uh, age of uh, civilization and the book come like recently and uh, who cares what is mentioned on them? whatever the books uh, tamils have everything predates predates every religious book exist here so for their satisfaction for their political reason for their present scenario or past scenario whichever they want something to hold on to it as a pride so there are people in east africa that like in each of them would say like yeah this is it that is it. yeah okay i mean to 
they are our brothers of course we should not like you know, criticize them for doing so but like you know that's the way they do it but going and sitting there and arguing you are not is a, i don't think i agree to it if they don't want to see the facts in a way a facts have to be checked in it is their choice but going and disproving the, what they are is is kind of a, uh, i don't think that's a decent thing to do because it is uh, as far as uh, as far as my, uh, my opinion is concerned what i would uh, i'm concerned what i would say is based on my basic analysis i would say they need to hold on to something as pride because almost everything is taken from them which was taken from them now they are having a country they are they have their own struggle their place the where they supposed to be proud of be it nubians eritreans ethiopians or whoever ethiopians or somalians whoever it is rest of the people they supposed to be proud of the, their pride which they are not able to the region is absolutely occupied and ruled by like somebody else who never worked for it so even that is taken away from them their culture like you know, they don't remember their knowledge they don't remember i'm sure that like you know, they would have had but they don't remember they don't have it it is taken away from them fed them back in a different form speaking about how people actually israel's were in point i can speak i i value their views even my belief is in that way but if i start speaking about it i will have to touch moses the biblical version of moses they will be offended because they are also muslims who respect moses i don't because being a person from the oldest culture it is also decency not to offend another person like you know or they believe because i have already actually done that for a jewish person i did that and for zaidi israel i did that there is a voice for uh, i have where i spoke exactly from their own the biblical words i have showed that what exactly those people did and who they could be there are logical thing religions come and go philosophies even like in a common go with different brands but the man's logical thing always comes out with philosophy for the human kind to thrive that logical thing obviously from my point of view it comes out of a very clear thinking obviously for that our ancestors or the and since supreme I mean, spiritual being that it supports us how other people want to call it like it is their choice with the same thought that new religion can even come in so based on the same logical thinking which i believe it is a spiritually guided i'm saying that i can mention that but people will be offended but are they ready so now imagine the scenario of prophet muhammad if he omits musa or not what would be his situation in like 600 bc definitely the angel would know about it right instead of the angel coming to help the human kind of his time that or the later one why does he why does the uh, angel have to uh, angel could have said a lot of things right what is wrong he could have said okay, angel could have said right but he didn't say because if he said that and prophet muhammad speak of it like you know they will kill them instantly especially in that time so uh, information wasn't given to him in such a way that it is kind of amicable where in an intellectual manner like you know the actual message can be passed upon
even that was misused by their followers like who wanted authority. Being nice and not talking about something is different. But if you really want to speak facts, like you know, facts can be spoken. How come a philosophy of life, a guide to a spirituality, became a linguistic philosophy? How? Why those honest people of uh, Prophet's followers, they did not translate Quran into other languages and made other ethnic learn in their own language. Instead, they destroyed every single language around that. That is why people of East Africa is suffering today in, in theology. Right? Yeah. And they were, people are looking at everybody because of the color. Color business has started recently. So people are looking at them. Who is Persian? How do you know that who somebody is Persian or not? Because there were already too many tribes were there. Climatic condition of the region, like you know, were drastically changing, like you know, in the last about three thousand years. Where is the fertile land of Mesopotamia? Where is it? It's not there. Why? People don't want to know that. Not only Mesopotamia, many of the regions. What happened? So you can't even actually figure out, like, you now who is a, a native. So when such a certain thing happens, the skin color changes. Food habits. What happened to the Tamil Muslims who were dark? Like, you know, now they are fair. Even like, you know, they are marrying within the family because they share the food habit. For a person's skin color to change, there are a billion reasons. Why Tamils are dark? Even Africans are dark. Where is what happened to the food habit? You can find a lot of very fairer uh, Africans today. So not people cannot like you know say things like you know, based on color and this is given by the Western philosophy, the Western culture. So anyway, I I think I'm done with the linguistic basis. For their happiness among thy people, people can say that uh, geese is the first language without any proof. That will make them happy. But definitely, the whoever says and the listeners would know that they don't speak geese and they don't have literature. They literally have nothing. The lag, the tablets, which has been found in uh, Mesopotamian region, the proto elamite that the name is given by the linguistic scholars, not by themselves. Yeah. That could be given Tamil also. And moreover, they have the script. People don't yeah. even know how they were speaking. There is a method that how they look at the scripts, different, different scripts of a specific region and see the similarities and try to decipher the uh, words. The same way they are disappearing. Uh, Egyptian uh, for the last about 100 years and still not even 1% is, uh, is been they have achieved. To decipher proto elamite they are trying to use, uh, they are uh, using that uh, Tamil uh, consonants to decipher it. They are not using geese consonant because there is nobody speaking geese as geese. Everybody is using a dialect of geese today. Even if geese is speaking, and uh, the dialects have become a different language, like Tigri and varieties of other languages. A compilation of languages it has become. Like how there are about more than uh, 24 or 22 languages in this uh, Indian continent, which has the, uh, has the root of uh, Tamil. But Tamil is being used in, like, you know, in uh, different languages to decipher those scripts. Phoenicians, everybody talks about Phoenician script. The reason is that uh, that is kind of a parent script for Greek, kind of. But none of them actually 
know that how they were speaking the language. The dialects are alive. Based on the dialect, I can actually pull out the Tamil words there. Commonly to today people were using. The weapons Nubians were using in ancient time till 1850, we were using it the, against uh, war against uh, the British. There are so many things I actually I can say. Yeah. But since people, they all need something to hold on to, yeah. to feel proud about it. And I don't want to argue. It's a very small place, limited people. Tamils or I don't know where they are, like almost about more than 250 countries. And they were all like now uh, holding very high position wherever they are. Almost yeah. like you know, more than uh, half the country, uh, countries, more than 100 countries, like somebody, some Tamil would be like in you know, a holding highest position. Seychelles, Prime Minister, this guy, Vice President, blah, blah. Israel and here, okay, forget about all that. Like, you know, America's vice president, who is she? Her mother is from my place. Yeah. I'm probably about 12, 30 kilometers from my place. And uh, uh, being a daughter of that woman, obviously the, the he vice president must be speaking Tamil. Yeah. So, in linguistic basic, it is there. Don't want to touch that. that all. But the website is what, like, you know, I've been talking all the time. There is a replay, which I send it to Zaidi. So mm -hmm. he's a Jew. That he never argued back. Like, he simply, like, you know, altered his uh, profile. I can sit and talk. What, what's the big deal? I can yeah. make question. I can make people point out what is written there and uh, let them find the meaning by themselves. It says a lot of stories that mostly co uh, relates to Punt. But Punt or any of this region, like, you know, they don't need an identity based on Israelites. No. Even before uh, existence of Israelites, like, you know, people were there, like, you know, flooded. It's only 72 people they came into that land. And that is a specific number for a reason. And where is Tamil? Like now, there are some people are asking, where is Tamil and all that? What do they even know? We have a settlement, like you know, which is something like uh, 2,600 year old settlement is here in uh, Pandya Kingdom. The first wave of uh, uh, outsiders migrated to our land. The the whether it is a 12 tribe or only Judah, we don't know. There's 12 tribes, like they among them, that they all like came here. Fourth century, that people came here, uh, not fourth century, second century BC. And uh, St. Thomas came to the same place. They were already settlements. Because for those kind of a people, refugees or whichever you call it, to, ho to become an influential people in the same region, it took for them about something like 800 years. And by 4th century, they had an agreement with the Pandya Kingdom, which is known as also known as Chera Kingdom. People don't know the difference between or the similarity between Chera and Pandya. Same family was like now ruling. So by 4th century, they got the sole trade uh, rights which means that is trading from these ports to East Africa and the rest of the world. That, uh, that is a vital document which was given to the Prime Minister of uh, Israel when he came down here a couple of years ago. That is written in Tamil. So we know Jewish for a very long time. We also know that like our Jewish or Israelites, we know how they influenced or what did they do with this uh, Chera kingdom and their dynasty and how they are influential on the present day also. We know that just because the rest of the world did not know 
about uh, ethnic is living here for a long time that does not mean that we don't exist just because none of them have been to himalayas doesn't mean that himalaya does not exist because that's the way the people talk just because they don't know something cease to exist that is their view we don't say it being the oldest we know who's who who's yeah. sitting where you know that anyway that is uh, what i want to say because unless and until like you know somebody really want to because i really don't want to even somebody wants it because when yeah. i start talking about the information even the links you gave me about uh, the punt and everything there are such a certain things will be contradicting yeah. when they when they accept something they also uh, they when they deny something they also accept the a biblical version which was written later that is 500 bc they are accepting that in fact i'm being lenient on that i'm, I'm just giving a generic view of say, saying that uh 500 bc but actually that is 500 bc to uh 100 bc you can say 100 or 50 because it's all different different books each book evolved in different period of time so one side like you know they are quoting based on that another side like you now i mean they are denying that whichever they choose it is a choice though anyway so i don't want to touch that how uh, the uh, the facts based on their own book about how israel's are not first of all not a major clan compared to those people lived in egypt nubian and to uh, the old land uh, punt they are simply a very small clan they came in here they looted those people and stole from them and they ran and there is no actual proof for how they were actually uh, running a huge country except to solomon's period and that solomon is being ignored by those jewish people of today because of one simple reason that is mother is an amorite prior to that if you look into the david's accounts it took into the saul's account on even prior to that there are varieties of information is there in their own book to say that it was never a one full big country they were trying to survive among the Canaanites who existed for a very long time before even like they even walked to the walk into the land. So if I start talking about it, I will be touching Musa and the people who were believe in Punt or people who does not believe it or who believes in present day, like in a biblical version, everyone will be offended with be it a Muslim, be it a Christian whoever it is because they acknowledge on uh, well-being their philosophy of life their their history their identity everything is whatever it is taught to them is taught to them by their religious books which is either like you know, it is a torah versions or a quran otherwise never they have no clue but that is not the case for Tamils. So since I'm doing for the finale, I repeat that. Without religion, if a person wants to attain a spirituality and uh, have a well-being, socially responsible, capable of running a family, village, town, cities, kingdoms and empires, everything is being taught without even like teaching religion. We have hundreds and hundreds of books. So even without religion, with spiritual, with our philosophy, we can sit not not that like you know past thousands of years, but another thousands of years we can sit.
that the rest of the world, the moment you pull out the religion, they'll disappear. Or by the same religion, kill each other and they'll disappear. And we don't need to do that. We don't need to kill each other like you know, for on basis of religion, which is being practiced even till today. It doesn't matter what happens in Indian continent, in my land. That does not happen and cannot happen. So that's where I finish. So thank you. Thank you.